Hello and welcome to the Hilti Profess installation tutorial. This video focuses on how to apply loads to your design application inside the three-dimensional design module. The following steps will show you how to create various load types and apply them to the design application. For this example, we've created a trapeze type support utilizing the 3D module. To this, we will add two 6-inch steel pipes and a cable tray. Additionally, we will also add a wind load along the x-axis. The tools needed to create these loads are located in the Loads section of the toolbar. To add a pipe, click the Add Pipe button in the Loads toolbar. Place your mouse on the support beam where the pipe will be located and click on the beam. Move the mouse above or below the beam, indicating whether the pipe will be installed sitting on top of or hanging below the support beam. Click the open space in that position to set the placement of that pipe. Finally, indicate the direction of the pipe load by moving the mouse in the direction that the load will be acting and click the mouse to set the load. To edit the pipe's properties, exit the pipe creation tool by clicking on the selector icon on the toolbar. Next, double click the pipe to open the pipe properties window. Change the pipe parameters to be 6 inch diameter, schedule 40 steel, water filled with no insulation, and fastened with a U-bolt. If these parameters are representative of your common applications, you can set them as default settings by clicking on the Set as Default button at the bottom of the window. Doing so will ensure that each new pipe created will have identical parameters as the ones currently showing in the window. You can also define your own parameters outside of those available in the current options by clicking the User Defined button at the bottom of the window. To accept all changes to the pipe properties, click the OK button. Once you are finished setting the pipe properties, you can make an identical copy of the pipe. To do so, select the first pipe and click the Copy Load button on the toolbar. To create the cable tray, click the Add Cable Tray button on the Loads toolbar. Place your mouse on the beam in the position where the cable tray will mount to the beam and click on the beam. Next, move the mouse above or below the beam to indicate whether the cable tray will be resting on top of the beam or hanging below the beam. Click the space in this area to set the position. Finally, drag the mouse in the direction of the cable tray length and click the mouse to set the direction. To edit the cable tray's properties, exit the cable tray creation tool by clicking on the selector icon on the toolbar. Next, double-click the cable tray to open the cable tray property page window. This tray will hold eight cables. If these parameters are representative of your common applications, you can set them as default settings by clicking on the Set as Default button at the bottom of the window. Doing so will ensure that each new cable tray created will have identical parameters as the ones currently showing in the window. You can also define your own parameters outside of those available in the current options by clicking the User Defined button at the bottom of the window. To accept all changes to the cable tray properties, click the OK button. Now that the basic loads have been applied to both pipes and cable tray, we are ready to add the wind load. For this load, assume that the wind is distributed uniformly over the support beam. Create a distributed load on the beam's x-axis by first clicking the Add Distributed Load button on the Loads toolbar, and then single-clicking the support beam. This will open the Distributed Load Properties window. From here, select the load type and enter the value of your load in the respective force direction columns as applicable. You have the option of naming your load in the description box. You can add or remove as many loads as necessary in this window. For each load, check the box if the load is distributed across the entire beam length as applicable. Once all changes to distributed load properties have been made, click the OK button to save changes. 
The distributed load will be represented by a solid green bar in the isometric view with several green arrows pointing in the direction of the load force. To add point load or a moment on your support, follow a similar process. First, select the support beam where the load will be acting and then select either Add Point Load or Add Moment from the Loads toolbar. Enter your load force value in the respective window and accept the changes by clicking the OK button. After all loads have been applied, run the calculation to ensure that the support beams and all connection components are strong enough to support the applied loads. To do this, click on the Static Calculation button under the Calculation tab in the toolbar. A green result indicates that all system components are capable of supporting the applied loads. A red result indicates that one or more components are currently incapable of supporting the applied loads. Click the Clear Calculation Results button on the Calculation toolbar, revise the indicated components, and run the static calculation again. Continue this process until a green result is reached. The design application is now complete. Please refer to the Profus installation How to Export to a CAD Drawing Format module for instructions on how to export your design application to various CAD software. Thank you for watching the Hilti Profus installation 3D module load application tutorial. If you have any questions, please call us at 1-800-879-8000 in the U.S. or 1-800-363-4458 in Canada.